So today is my Cincinnati History Interview Project from Cujo. Um, so first I'm going to ask you guys about the story, like, story of your early life in Cincinnati. Okay. Great. My early life in Cincinnati. Well, I grew up in Price Hill, or Priceless Hill if you want to call it that. And then we moved to Delhi when I was in the seventh grade. And went to Lady Victory, then went to Elder and on and on. But we stayed in the west side of town because my parents moved to the west side of town. That's where I grew up. Mm -hmm. Once you're there, you never leave. So that's where side. I am. Mm -hmm. So that's how we wound up here. And my wife lived in the west side of town. What did you guys do in Cincinnati? Like, what did you do in Cincinnati when you were growing up? What did I do in Cincinnati? Like, what, was there, what was there to do around? What was there to do around here? <clears throat> uh, take cherry bombs and blow things up. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the restaurant. Nah, not too often. Every now and then my dad would get tickets to the Redskins. That was kind of fun. Oh, yeah. Play baseball. We used to play baseball. Love. They watched the Redskins. Yeah, they did. Every game. I played uh, played baseball a lot. Mostly it was uh, on a couple of vacant lots. <clears throat> One time I swung a bat and a kid walked behind me. You hit him? It hit me right in the mouth. I just teed <laughs> out. It did. I knew the guy. I just felt bad about it. But that's yeah. happened. Did that. Rode bikes. Hung out. This, you know, same thing probably any other kid does. Nothing special. What about you? What's your early life like? Okay. Um, it was kind of, it's kind of funny when we met up finally when we were in high school. Probably our, 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 our places where we lived and where we had moved were all parallel to each other. It was like, oh, well, we were, we didn't know each other until then. But anyway, we lived in, um, when I was born, I lived in a place called English Woods. So do we. And he had lived there too. And then we moved to Price Hill. So do we. And, and like two we lived over, on right? Grand. Well, uh, yeah, we lived on Grand Avenue, and I went to Holy Family, and he was there too. But I, he was a year older than me, but I didn't know him or anything. And but I, um, I lived. I only went to Holy Family until the second grade. So you were there for a lot longer. Sixth grade. So and then when when I was in the second grade, um, by then I think. I, I'm the oldest of seven kids, and by then they had, they probably only had about four kids. And we moved to Our Lady of Victory. Our Lady of Victory school was really like out in the country, and we had combined classes. It was like, boy, the school was so little. Oh, well, I mean, no, like fourth and fifth grade was together, seventh and eighth grade <coughs> where it was together. Um, and we lived on Moorview Drive then, and my dad was a builder and built houses, and he then built us a house that we moved to on Pine Knot Drive, and I lived there until I was married, and then he built the house that we moved into immediately we after we were married, which is now where my son and his wife Erin and their boys live, um, on Victory View. The walk the Lady Victory School and back, and we're still in Our Lady Victory Parish. We live here. What did you do? With, what did you do? Like, what did you do with your friends when you were younger? Um, we I, we liked playing outside all the time, and um, we always had a pool. We we had a above ground pool for years and years. But then when they moved to the Pine Knot, we had a built-in pool. Um, I can remember when we lived on Moorview, there was a big giant cow pasture behind our yard, and we used to go back in there and pretend like we were pioneers. Like you know, some, some people were the Indians, some people were the pioneer people, and we kept thinking, wow, we're walking on uncharted ground. Nobody's <laughs> ever walked here before. <laughs> so that's pretty much, I mean, then by the time I get to in high school, I kind of just hung out with my girlfriends and we'd laugh and be silly and talk about boys and... <laughs> talk about me. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. So, what jobs did you guys have growing up in Cincinnati? Where was, where was your first job and what was your most memorable, memorable job? Mm, my first job probably was working <clears throat> at a car wash on Greenwell. Though it doesn't exist anymore. And it was interesting. That was interesting because the guys that washed the cars, it, it wasn't automatic. It was all done by hand. They were all ex-convicts. <laughs> I know. Is that so, for you? And my, yeah. And I drove, the, I drove the car out and did the windows. <laughs> and then my next job was working at a gas station at the corner of Anderson Ferry. 
and uh, Bell Isle, <clears throat> with, it, where the uh, Shell station is now. <clears throat> I wanted to work there so bad that I kept asking if I could get a job. The guy said, well, if you clean this place, I'll think about it. So I literally scrubbed the walls and just everything down. And he said, thanks, so he gave me a job after that. So that was, that was before we got married. Well, so. wasn't back then people, they didn't pump their own gas. No, you pumped the gas. Somebody that worked in the gas station yeah. came out and put the gas in your car. <clears throat> nice yeah. now. <laughs> and it was nice to work there because when I got a car, I could do stuff. Working on a car, you know, do stuff like that. It was kind of fun. Right. Memorable? I guess they're all memorable. I don't know. About you, what was your first job? Um, probably I first babysat for people. My first job that I had when I got out of high school, well, my dad, again, I I'll repeat, I was the oldest of seven, and there were um, mostly boys. There was four boys and three girls. So my dad told us, you know, you girls got to get a job when you get out of high school. The boys might be able to go to college, but <laughs> they, they, they went and paid for seven kids. They couldn't all go to college and blah, blah, blah. Well, so and he and I did really well in school, and I was in the college prep classes, but he also told me that he had a place for me to go work. So I worked at an accounting firm. That was my first job that I had. Um, What's your first job? I think I made $40 a week. That was probably pretty good. <laughs> Back in those days, yeah. <clears throat> probably. And I worked there <clears throat> until I got married. Huh? And then after I got married, I had some odds and ends jobs. I mean, I was a placement consultant. That meant I was a person that found jobs for people that had disabilities for Ohio Rehabilitation Services. Uh, I substitute taught a lot at Our Lady of Victory. Um, then for six years, I worked with the special needs kids for Hamilton County MRDD. Um, what else? Did, just kind of, um, oh, I, worked at, I worked at Macy's when it was Lazarus. Before Macy's, before they bought it? Mm -hmm. A couple of interesting things was when we told Father Ben, we did a Paula and I lived it. We both went to English Woods. We both lived in Price Hill and, and went to Holy Family. We both moved to Lady Victory and went to Lady Victory. <clears throat> she would, we were, I was with a blind date. She was out with somebody else when I first saw her. And then we met at a Lady Victory's cafeteria at a dance. <laughs> and we got married at Lady Victory. All of our kids went to Lady Victory. It was kind of interesting. We gave a big well. tie. Tie into Lady no, after a while we found out, as interesting as we thought it was, that's probably the life of 90% of the people on the West Side. Everybody's got the same DNA line somewhere. They, they that's a great follow up. In the All life. the stories sound the same. <laughs> that flows in perfectly to the next question is why you chose the West Side? We were born there. Yeah. <laughs> so I, we lived there. That's it. No, and I think family, Start going to school there. family was important, and even times when we would think it would. You take a kid around about taking a job somewhere else or moving somewhere else or gosh if we lived in Florida or North Carolina or here there but you just didn't we just really well, didn't want to and I got in the real estate business when I was young 22 years old and so we stayed the west side yep all right then I have three more once my parents like like what did my parents do in Cincinnati when they were growing up same like what schools did they go to and something like that I don't know what school my mom went to I don't even know. My dad went to Roger Bacon, never finished school. Uh, became a cab driver. Um, and that's what he did all his life. He was in the cabs. My mom never, she worked only um, like Christmas time, mm -hmm. something like that. Other than that, my dad was in the cab business all his life. My, my dad lived on Kelsey Avenue and he went to Elder High School. And he'll tell you stories about back there in the beginning and he loved singing that. Um, Oh, yeah. No, he, well, he, yeah, yeah he, he sang in a quartet that was like a, a small group of about four people and they all sang harmony and, you know, with a four elder. And he, he would tell us all kinds of stories about them. I know my brothers were just excited as could be when they were growing up thinking that they were going to go to elder. Yeah. That's <laughs> the next question. Like, what your relation, what's your relationship with elder high school? Like, how, what do you think about elder high school? What do you like about it? If you like it. <laughs> Oh, I think Elder, Elder High School, yeah, it'd be a videotape, what do you expect now? <laughs> I think Elder High School is a phenomenal school. I think they do instill, I mean, let's face it, there's problems. When we were going to high school, there were kids who were in fights, they were think, doing things they weren't supposed to, they were meeting after school to get in fights. I mean, but by and large, Elder High School does a good job. I think it, we're lucky. 
and we're all lucky if we can go to Catholic schools and Catholic high schools, it instills a value system. Whether or not you follow it or not, it instills a great value system, and Elmer does a good job of that. So, so saying, oh yeah, with Elmer, like I said, I, I just hit, my mom went to a business school, which was mm, not, not right around here on the west side, and so I didn't know anything about a whole lot about her school, but I just was as anxious as could be to go to Seton, and I just really thought we were blessed, and I thought we were so, we, and we felt so strong that when we hit our own five kids, it was a sacrifice like it is for a lot of people to, to send, them there. send them there and to be and able to get tuition. Was like four but it was, bucks. It was that, about four bucks. Yeah, but it was that, <laughs> that was that important to us, and I feel like, lot, and, I, and I don't regret it one bit. I feel like it really, has given in the foundation and the focus, and it, and it really has been a blessing. All right, now my last question is you guys can't have the same answers. I need you to each say your three favorite parts, three favorite places to go in Cincinnati, your things to do. I know yours is going to be the zoo. <laughs> now, one of mine would be the zoo, because I've had a pass for there for like 30 years. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not open now. <laughs> okay. Okay, the zoo is one of my favorite places to go. Mm. In the city, right? Around Cincinnati, it can be a little bit out. But mainly, I... Well, I still, I like, I like going to the parks. We take, we like to walk and take hikes. Mm. We like that. I really do have to admit, I even think that after uh, the rest of our grandkids are gone, we're going to still like to go to the programs that Elder and Seton put on. The plays? Mm -hmm. The plays, the cabaret nights, the entertainment is great. Really, really great. And you know over from there. <laughs> and Ben, you should have stayed in it. He should have. He had a lot of fun. I think I'm coming back next year. My class didn't want to put it on it this year, but I think I'm coming back. Good. You should. Um, You'd enjoy it. But what else? What were your things? Favorite you restaurants? Your favorite? I think. Well, pro probably a favorite nice restaurant because we use it and we've gone there as a tradition is Prima Vista, which is um, up in what? What do you call that? The incline area. Uh, incline area. Yeah. That one. It used to be known as a sovereign, and we would go there. Matter of fact, before we got married, I think we went there. Didn't we on a date one time? Back in those days. <clears throat> okay, that that one we like. I know. What else do you like? First watch for breakfast and lunch. We go to brunch at first watch a lot. <clears throat> you gotta go to Price Hill Chili. Price Hill Chili, yeah. Gotta go to Price Hill Chili. We like Price Hill Chili. When we go to the plays at Covedale, now, since you go to Covedale's a play, we always go to Price Hill Chili with a group of people. That's always fun. I like the parks. Unfortunately, it's the same answer, but I like the parks as well. Smell Park? You guys been on that recently when they did everything? Mm hmm. Yeah, we go, yeah. You name a park, we, we like it. <laughs> Now my last one, I didn't have it on here, but we're learning about the, you guys remember when they were going to build the subway station downtown and that mm -hmm. fell through? Mm -hmm. What were your guys' thoughts on that? That's not on here, I just was thinking about that. I, I, I don't remember what you, you mean many, many years ago when they were talking about underground? Building a subway station and they... That was before, that was, we were really well, Wait young. a minute, is that, part of that was where they still had, where the incline was? Yeah. That came, yeah, comes up from downtown to Price Hill? Yeah. That was that was, a, that was the uh, was it the that long ago arm. or when they were talking they were talking about oh, no, redoing that they were, in the past fifty years right? yeah yes it was too we were too young no. we were, I was I don't remember that was too much they also <laughs> have one they built like, like 10, 12 years ago where underneath Second Street I don't people don't know about it like it's a little stretch we learned about it today online no, I didn't know about that a little that. stretch and it's just vacant no one goes I what I do remember now we were really young is that they used to have streetcars. And the streetcars had electrical cables. And, and they were connected. And they had to follow the, we rode the streetcars, you had to ride in, on the electrical cables. They'd spark, or they would come off once in a while. <laughs> I remember riding it a couple times, not a whole lot. Did you get it? Sounds good. I don't think we, I don't think population wise, for I don't, I, my opinion about the subway and some of that is, I think the, for the expense of all that and for the, Population of a city like Cincinnati, I don't think it's, it's necessary. as necessary as the places that they have it. Like how they make stuff work and 
New York or in Chicago. So they, Cincinnati yeah. was supposed to be America, Chicago, but then they fell through after the street car and stuff fell through. Mm -hmm. Nothing you may think of just popped in my head. When we lived, we lived in the Hawaii family, I used to go to Dempsey Park, used to have a swimming pool. Dempsey Park right there oh, on right. Rice Avenue. Yeah. And then we used to go to Phillips. We used to go to Phillips once in a while. That was, that was a big pool then, it was a big deal. It was yeah. always crowded. Thank you for letting me interview you guys. Thank you for being good interviewees. Yes, I. You had the best host possible. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. All right. Well, I agree.